dozens of people forced to find other places to sleep last night after yesterday's building collapse in the Bronx. CBS 2's Elijah Westbrook is live at the scene in Morris Heights with the latest for us this morning. Elijah. Well, Chris and Mary, at this time, it appears crews have paused their overnight efforts after uh, concluding that no one is actually trapped in that rubble. We will do want to show you what that rubble is looking like at this hour here on Burnside Avenue. And on the ground floor, there is where a bodega once stood. But above that, check that out, are six floors of apartments now completely exposed. The big question now is how could this happen? A shocking and disturbing scene. Watch as the seven-story building quickly falls to the ground as people run away in fear just after 3.30 Monday afternoon. We see this construction stuff will start cracking, and then there was two guys doing some construction up there. We see, like, a big rocks start falling down. <clears throat> then the whole building just fell down in like a second. This bodega owner says he saw the whole thing happen from across the street. We hear something like some people screaming across the street, so we go out to see what's going on. We see this construction stuff will start cracking. And then there was two guys doing some construction up there. We see like a big rock start falling down. Then the whole building just fell down in like a second. Officials say first responders got here in a matter of a little more than a minute and a half. Firefighters brought out all the resources needed in the search, including drones and canines. It took hours. The FDNY says there are no reports of injuries or people unaccounted for this morning. We immediately vacated, evacuated the building, got all the residents out, and started to concentrate on the uh, debris pile in front of the building, uh, working that and trying to search for any victims. Officials say utility companies were brought in to shut off power and gas in the building, one that was built in 1927, according to the city. The main floor are businesses. Officials say there was construction going on around the property before the collapse. Unclear if it played a role in the chaos. Neighbors who live nearby are in disbelief at what they're seeing. I'm scared. I don't even want to be in my own place. I'm scared. And taking you back out here live just off of Burnside Avenue where you are looking right into someone's bedroom on the seventh floor. Uh, police have multiple streets in this area closed off, of course, for safety. And while this investigation plays out, we know the city's Department of Buildings will be looking into the property's history, including analyzing any violations that could have been tied to this incident here. And that's the very latest from the Morris Heights section of the Bronx. I'm Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News. Elijah, thank you. CBS 2 has been looking into the status of that building prior to the collapse. Now, according to the city, the property has seven open violations, though none are for structural problems. One is from March of 2021 related to a hazardous condition on the facade. The CBS2 investigative team found Google Street View images from November of last year that clearly show cracks in the corner of the building where the collapse occurred. Mortar that was deteriorating, cracked bricks. There is an active permit, a permit that's valid until next summer. Work was being done on this building as recently uh, as a few days ago. But the building's commissioner says unsafe conditions on a building's facade don't necessarily mean a building is structurally unsafe. CBSU also found permits were just issued yesterday for sidewalk construction, but it appears that work had not yet started. And stay with CBS2 News. We will bring you the very latest updates on the building collapse, both on air and online at CBSNewYork.com.